Hello everyone, uh, it's Amanda Gilmore, Principal at St. Anne's School, and I'm here with Father Vincent, who's our parish priest, and it is lots of things going on today. It is Candlemas, and it's uh, three different feast days. It's also Groundhog Day. Did you see your shadow today, Father? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Father's going to explain some of these. We, we've got different Catholic traditions today, and then we, uh, we'll do a little candle blessing. So, what would you like to share with us? Thank you. Today we are celebrating the feast of the presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ to the temple in Jerusalem. So, is the commemoration of the presentation of the child Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem and at the same time it is also seen as the feast of purification purification of Mary according to the Jewish tradition after childbirth a woman becomes somehow unclean for 40 days mm -hmm. so you can see from Christmas till February 2nd it's 40 days so where the lady is purified in order to be free to enter the temple. And then the presentation of the child that every male child belongs to God. So after childbirth, the, the, uh, the child is presented to the Lord in the temple. And then the parents are, are required to offer some sacrifice, either a pigeon or a turtle dove for redemption a sort of buy back mm. you give that to god and then you take the child back so the feast is also known as the feast of encounter the encounter the new testament and the old testament coming together the new testament represented by jesus and the old testament represented by simeon mm -hmm. and anna as we saw in the Gospel of St. Luke, the two elderly people who came to the temple led by the Spirit, at the moment Jesus was being presented, Simeon taking the little child in his hands, thanking God for letting him see the light for the nations. You know, the, 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 the Simeon can take at last, O powerful master, let your servant go in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation. Because God made him a promise. He will never die until he has seen the glory of Israel, the Messiah. So when led by the Spirit, he came to the temple, saw the child. He took him, then was uttering those words, begging God, now I have seen your promise. Let me go in peace. Then turning to Mary, telling her, but you, a sword will pierce your own heart. Indicating to Mary how she will suffer because of her child Jesus also it is the feast <clears throat> we call it the candle mass which started invariably around the 8th century by Pope Sergius when he introduced the blessing of candles with a procession you know if it is at mass we bless the candle before mass then we process with that light mm -hmm. to begin the mass so it is showing us that Jesus is the light of the world. That is why we call you can equally call it candle mass. Mm -hmm. So either we say presentation of the Lord or we say candle mass. That is what we are celebrating today. So that's why on that day in the eighth century, the candles to be used for the liturgical services for the year are blessed today that the second of february that's why i call it candle mass so all the candles we are blessed and then they are used for the whole liturgical year and the next one we ones are blessed so we are going to bless the candle these candles today praying that the light of christ may always be shining in our hearts Yes, we have some here from people for their homes, and some are here for our classrooms and uh, school use. So, what do we do? What do we do for the blessing, Father? Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. 
we praise you and ask you to guide our steps each day. Help us to love you and serve you faithfully and to carry our daily cross with you. Bless these candles and let it always remind us that you are our light in darkness, our protector in danger, and our saving Lord at all times. Lord Jesus, we praise you and give you glory, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, so the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. Thank you, Thank Father. You. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great Catholic Schools Week. <laughs>